This week we are down Highway W in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. We're going to be working on this front stoop of this church. But first we've got to pull up this carpet before we do anything. This is Rick with Custom Concrete Design in Lake of the Ozarks. So the, car the uh, carpet's got to come up. And it is down because I've been already pulling and tugging at this end over here. and it is tough i don't know if it's rotten up underneath there or not but we're going to go ahead and get this carpet pulled off of here and see what we've got to work with all right so this is what we've got after the carpet's been pulled up we still have carpet down on this it, uh, it's got a lot of glue so it just pulled the top of the carpet off and left the backing but Right over here, it actually pulled some of the backing and some of the concrete up. So they must have done like a uh, overlay or something over here on this side or just leveled it up, it looks like. And uh, it pulled up that leveling compound. At least I'm hoping that's all that is. Uh, I really won't know until I start grinding this whole surface. But it's pretty jagged around the edges. There's a lot of holes around the perimeter. I can see a crack already right here that's forming. Um, well, not forming, but it's it's already there and it's going to start forming as I grind the surface. That will develop more and more and look wider and wider and probably longer and longer. Right now it's filled in with all the dirt, glue over the years. So uh, I would imagine that's gonna be a pretty decent size crack right there that I'll have to repair. Most likely there's some more cracks in this. Usually there are with uh, concrete that's, you know, this old. I'm not sure how old it is, but I'd guess a good 20 or 25 years because they've covered it up like four or five times. Uh, there's a cold joint right here that I'll have to take and ream out and repair. Uh, and then another one right here as well. And, um, and then up along this, the door right here. You know, I'm seeing some gaps right here as well, and you know, you can see where that that cold joint is and then it goes up against the, the building foundation right there. Um, and I would imagine it's the same way over here as, as well. We just can't see it because the backing of the carpet is still on there, but yeah, uh, you know, I've been pulling carpet for probably about four hours now and luckily they had a tractor here and um, and uh, some other tools and stuff that a couple other extra hands that helped me out otherwise yeah I would have been here still pulling carpet so right now I'm gonna go ahead and put a grinder on it and uh, see if I can get this stuff off of here see what kind of repairs that I need to make and uh, maybe have to make some adjustments from from there but right now it's looking like a pretty rough one we'll see if we can't get it fixed up it just depends on what's underneath here once I pull all this stuff off with a grinder. Okay, so right now I am in the repair phase mode. And as you can see, I still have to grind all that uh, carpet backing and glue off there and then repair that spot. Now, some of these cracks were actually this large. Uh, as far as width goes, I just cleaned them out. Uh, some of them were just hairline cracks and I did open them up. But all those cracks have to be filled. I still have to grind up on this lip right here and get that cleaned up. There's another one. Repair right here. Fill the crack. This one here actually goes up to the building as you can see. It's really wide right in here. And then it runs all the way over to here. For whatever reason, most likely the cold joint, it stops. But this one over here carried on and went all the way to this side of the slab and then over here. So that's all got to be repaired. I've ground all around the perimeter. Um, but there's another spot here that has to be repaired as well. All through here on this perimeter, you can see some little tack holes. 
those have to be repaired some still have screws in them some i've pulled out um, so all those little holes are going to have to be repaired the edge will probably remain jagged i won't be able to square that up because there's so many areas where it's just you know the concrete's just broke off it's just gone so uh that'll remain but it'll have color on it and everything will be repaired to the best of my ability so on the next video that you're going to see the next clip will be basically after everything has been ground down and everything has been repaired and it'll be before the concrete actually goes down so this will look uh, a lot different all these cracks will be gone holes everything should be repaired concrete will be cleaned up a little bit better so um, you know so it's ready for concrete okay all the cracks are repaired all the little potholes pop marks all the little holes around the perimeter everything's patched in see where everything's been patched there's that area that's really bad by the one window right here all that right there had to be patched in that corner and this crack All patched up and ready to go for concrete. I've got the concrete mixed up. There's this other side that was pretty bad. It's all patched in. There's our color. I'm getting ready to lay that out now. It's gonna be a dark chocolate. Okay, I just finished up the uh, base coat. Starting to dry up up here. You can see that it's getting lighter drying up because this why stopped right here this is the color that it's going to be when it's sealed but you're only going to see because of the Tuscan slate texture you're only going to see about 10% of this maybe 20% somewhere in there so uh, it's a nice dark uh, chocolate it's drying up nice looks good the uh, top color will be uh, probably about five or six shades lighter than this. Um, it'll be a lot like where you see it drying up here. That'll be the top coat. And then you'll see, uh, you know, you'll see this base coat coming through, um, coming through our texture. Because I'm just going to put it on at about, you know, 80%, 85% over the top of this. And then I'm going to spray it with... Uh, an antique stain so that's what we've got for now all right we have our second coat of concrete on the next coat is going to be our tuscan slate texture so that's kind of where i'm at in the process and as you can see, you don't see any more cracks. That really bad spot that was right there, that made it disappear. All these cracks that we're running through here, gone. Remember there was a big crack right here and it went all the way on over. And it broke off and pitched backwards and it was pretty wide. They are gone. All the little pot marks gone. It was all damaged up here on the corners. And I had to fill that in right there on that corner. And these corners were pretty damaged too, but it didn't have as much fill actually. So, and then this corner over here by the window, it was pretty damaged as well.
That's good. All right, we are finished with this job at Cross Point Retreat. There's that one really bad spot here. And that's where that crack started. And it went all the way on over and then split off into a wishbone. So the coloring turned out great. Um, you know, I just sprayed it heavy in some areas more than others to just marbleize it. The first thing I did was is I sprayed an even coat, pretty light coat, and then I came back in and then sprayed heavy, heavy areas and then um, just misted other areas. That's why you're seeing that marbleization. favorite spots right here. I really like the way that area turned out. It's never exactly the same throughout the whole slab of concrete, which is fine because we don't want it to be consistent anywhere. bit higher here you get a better view so if you guys are watching this on my youtube channel please subscribe to the channel if you like the videos that i do if you like the work that i do um, like the video here as well check out the links in the description below Go to my website, check out my uh, Facebook business page. I think we're at about 3,100 fans over there now, so trying to grow that. But I'd appreciate if you guys would leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this job. I'll see you guys on the next project.